guys and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new around here, I make videos on cleaning, budgeting, organising and lifestyle. And for today's video, I'm going to show you me cleaning my Hoover vacuum cleaner. I've got the Shark um, Lift Away one. Um, it's fantastic. You'll have to excuse my washing machine. I have got a wash on, but obviously I've got to do this in the kitchen. It's a really nice day, so I'm gonna get the filters out drying, um, but I want to share with you how I do it. I feel like this is gonna be quite a satisfying video. So yes, here we are with my vacuum, and the start, the first thing we need to do is empty this. I gave my house a clean this morning, so we need to empty it and wash it. Feel like that wasn't as satisfying, but <laughs> that's the stuff that's come out, guys. Okay, first things first. I'm gonna give it all a bit of a rinse, guys. Um, so this doesn't actually come apart; it just opens both sort of way ways. Uh, yeah, just check. It. I have done this, but I'm just double checking. So I'm just going to rinse this out in fact i'm going to put some uh, fairy liquid and soap in here i can use this sink to rinse if i need to so i'm just going to Then I'm going to take all this apart. So this is the filter. I'm going to clean this with this part as well. So we'll rinse that and pop that in there. And pop this in there too, because I'm going to give that a, a bit of a clean. So I'm actually only cleaning um, the filters with what warm water. I'm not going to put any product on them. That's pretty clean. It's running quite clear, the water. And this as well. I think product can be quite um, gross. Not gross, but if you put too much product on it, it can start to smell and stuff. So we're just sticking to water for the filter. And these are the bits that I want to get outside. That doesn't look clean, but it definitely is. Like, as you can see, the water's running clear. So we'll get those outside. And then we're just going to leave this to soak. Okay, next, I am going to get this part off and give this a rinse too. There we go, so that is going to go in the sink too. And then I'm going to cut all this hair off. Okay, now I'm just going to give it an anti back spray and try and get some of the dust away.
okay that looks pretty good to me and then I'm going to lift it up and just give this top bit a clean water is looking a bit murky however not as bad as I thought I thought um, it would be a lot worse so I'm just going to unplug my, my plug's actually broke and then I'll give the sink a bit of a clean in a sec silly spot Okay guys, this is a new cloth by the way, the other cloth's down here on the floor, um, but I'm just going to spray down the sides. The sink needs cleaning. And just give it all a quick clean. So there we are guys, my vacuum cleaner is all clean and the parts are drying outside. Um, I hope this has given you some motivation to get yours done. Actually it says on your vacuum cleaners if you've got a shark that you have to do this every three months. Um, it just helps with the like life longevity of the hoover and it actually makes hoovering 10 times easier but i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and i will see you very soon in another cleaning video bye guys